who is your daddy and what does he do? That's right. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Now, I know when I talk about Internet Fathers, you have people come to mind immediately. I know there are things that pop up. How could they not? One person in particular I know, everybody's like, oh, he's going to have to mention him. There's no way he can't not mention him. So let me let me give this little man his little bit of attention. Because we have more funny, entertaining things to get to. But I will mention a contender. Maybe I'll do a poll at the end. And you can all choose which of these fathers are the best father on the internet. <laughs> so let's start it off with what is obviously going to get mentioned for at least a few minutes. Ethan Ralph. The rage pig himself. Oh, I love my son. I love my, help me do my $1,300 fundraiser. I'm going to just zany myself out. And, oh, God, I'm tired. Oh, I'm tired. Those are bug bites on my daughter. Let me call her a little bitch. Good old Ethan. Dad of the year contender? Sure, why not? Let's throw his name into the ring. Now, I buried this motherfucker already on a stream. There's really not much to go over. I think you're all familiar with him and his shenanigans. And that's your minute, Rage Piggy. That's your full minute of attention. I hope that sustains you for the next fucking half a year. <laughs> I hope that funds your tortas for the next six months. <laughs> oh, he's a hollering now. Oh, so mad. Oh, I'm a piggy. <laughs> oh. oh, Ralph, you silly fucker. Uh, you know, I, I, could, I could go into depth, but you know he's a terrible father. Jesus Christ. I had to shame the man into paying child support. That's a true story, by the way. Ethan Ralph refused to pay child support until I made merchandise making fun of him. I used to sell a shirt that said, I spent more money on this shirt than Ethan did his son. And then all of a sudden he wants to pay child support. That's, that's the kind of caliber of dad we're talking about. I could go into the drinking and the drug use and the abuse and all that shit. You all, you, everybody fucking knows it. Everybody fucking knows it. Now we want to move on to the more interesting shit. The newer stuff. The stuff we haven't got over before. The thing that really inspired this particular stream was somebody by the name of Thorpe. Uh, Benjamin Thorpe. Now, I'm not sure if you're very familiar with him. I'm not super familiar with him. Um, I've encountered him a bit here and there. Uh, but even looking into just just a little bit of it, uh, it's a bit of a wild story. So let's, this is our, let's say, contestant. We're not even going to count Ralph. Sure, he's got four tits, but he's not really a full person, so we can't call him contender number one. Instead, we're gonna just we're gonna start with Ben Thorpe. He's contender number one. Let me pull the sexy man up. Look at that. Is that not the most fuckable individual you've ever seen? Does that not ooze sex appeal to you? Now you're about to hear a bit of a wild story. There's a lot to this gentleman. Way more than I could cover. There, there are fucking video documentaries on him. That run three, four hours long on YouTube. If you're interested, you can find them by multiple fucking channels. But I put together a nice little, a nice little like collage, a summary of what makes him a fantastic father. What makes him Daddy of the Year? And I think I think you're all gonna really, really enjoy it. <laughs> I think you're gonna really enjoy what makes him a Daddy of the Year. Oh boy. Let's see how far we can push the limits on YouTube. <sighs> now, we're going to be, let me put a trigger warning up here. <laughs> we're going to be talking about some daddy on daughter action. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's, it's weird talking about the subject of incest without Destiny running in to get into the debate. <laughs> but we're going to be, we're going to be going over it. Oh, somebody's fucking their daughter. Don't tell Vito about this stream. He'll get his pants off. We'll never get rid of him. Okay, let's get these clips lined up. It's a little, it's a little veto joke. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tiny little veto joke there. Let me light a cigarette. Because, whew, am I going to need it? Now, what brought Ben to my attention? Well, Ben has had a, a rough couple of months. I think this goes back, I would say, until, oof, was it March or April? when this really popped off. Now, he's been doing goofy shit on the internet for a while. You've probably seen him. Maybe you've seen him pop up here and there. He's been on Ralph's show. He's been on other people's shows. People have done videos about him. Uh, he's got a sordid history. Uh, but really what brought him to my attention was the numerous arrests. And we're going to talk about why he got arrested. But let's let's start at the beginning, because that's where else are you going to begin a story. 
Let's start with the assault. Oh, dial 911. There's an assault going on. You look like you're going to cry and then you hold back because you're so afraid of daddy doing something to you. You're so afraid of daddy doing something to you. Now that's uh, Ben. That would be Ben laying on his bed. And that would be his daughter who he just mule kicked. <laughs> Let's back it up. Daddy's coming for you. To cry and then you hold back because you're so afraid of daddy doing something to you. Right? Uh -oh. No, that's literally not why. All bullshit all the time. She's a little stunned right now. I mean, I guess I guess any little girl would be if Daddy Mule kicked them on the bed. Oh, and we'll get to why they're on a bed together on their little trip cross country. <laughs> And, oh, God, what a fucked up story. So, yeah, the daddy mule kick. She gets a little fucked up over it. That's literally not why. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I don't mean to do this. I've got, Daddy, I'm so sorry that I let you kick me like a mule. Uh, let me scratch. Uh, I love the psycho reaction. That's always good. You can tell there's some deep-seated fucking trauma here. Not why. Watch, let's just spaz out. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, there's a little bit of trauma. Chat, is there a little bit of trauma going on here? I think there might be a tiny bit of little trauma, a little bit of damage, maybe. I think there might be a little bit of damage. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I don't mean to do this. So that would be like, that's classic Darvo, right? Like, he literally mule kicks this chick, and, like, she's apologizing for it. He's like, You're, you fucked up. So uh, how could you make daddy hit you? <laughs> How could you, God, oh, what a worthless daughter this girl is. She made daddy hit her. You should apologize. Apologize, right? Clean the carpet. Yeah, oh, oh, I'm so upset. So, so, our father of the year contestant, Ben, uh, mule kicks his daughter. And I believe this is what set the chain of events into place. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But, of course, it leads to arrest number one. Yes, that's right. There are multiple arrests coming up. So let's take a look at arrest, arrest number one. Joke for the stream. Now this happened almost immediately. If, I, if I'm remembering this right, if I've got the timeline chronology right, I don't know. I could be wrong. But she gets mule kicked and cries and says she's a fuck up. And then here we are. We got another stream started up as the popo show up. And they're like, hey, did you know it's illegal to kick people? Did you, you can't really assault people on camera. It's kind of this thing called a crime. Can I even see him? Is it raining where you live? What the fuck? Oh, let's be quiet right now. Yeah, so uh, here's a story, officer. My dumb fucking daughter hurt my foot when I kicked her. Uh, can we put her in jail? All right, I've got, I stubbed my toe kicking this bitch. I would really appreciate it if we could maybe file some charges here, officer. I don't think it worked out very well for him because they put his ass in cups. <gasps> oh, the childhood trauma lost like tears in the rain. I like how she cleans off the lens just so she can cry a little harder. And she's still apologizing. Gets kicked by her father. Spazzes out on stream. Now she's freaking out because daddy's getting arrested. Don't worry, Grace. I see, I, I love this, by the way. I see people in chat saying, 
um, oh, this is some dark shit, Jim. This is some Silent Hill stuff. This poor kid. Oh my God, this poor girl. You haven't. We haven't even got to the dark part yet. All you've seen is a mule kick and her crying and freaking out a little bit. I know that you can sense it, chat. You can feel it in the air. It's electric. You know, we all know watching this that there's some damage to this girl. And I don't mean from the kick. There's some shit going on. But we, wait till you <laughs> wait till you find out what kind of damage. Well, we're getting to some really dark shit. Let me just pause a second, Grace. What you need to do. Are you still there? Okay. Yeah. Well Uh, I should also mention half of these fucking streams, like the arrest streams and other things, they're like done in these group calls. So you'll hear people pop on occasionally and you're like, who the fuck is that? I don't know who they are. Let's just ignore who they are. We'll focus on the video itself. Okay, miss, uh, if you can put your hands behind your back, you're uh, getting arrested for being a dumb bitch in the first degree. This is a man's world, and uh, when daddy hits you, you're supposed to take it. I know that sounds uh, completely fucked up, but you're under arrest, Grace. All right, first, you got molested. That's your fault. Secondly, you got kicked. That is also your fault. Miss, you're going to jail for a long time. Can you put the camera down? No, of course not. Of course not. That would be ludicrous. But of course, this is a crazy fucking story, and it's kind of like that. Wait till you see. Okay. Okay. Based on like whatever you guys had going on in your live stream today, somebody reported it, and it was like kicking you. Right. So in Rhode Island, that's considered domestic assault, right? domestic violence, simple assault. All right. I understand you have your YouTube podcast and everything like that, whatever you guys do. But, but it was a joke, and I don't have any problem with what happened. Listen, miss, I understand you're one of those YouTubers. I've seen YouTubers before. You're a bunch of fucking weirdos, to be honest with you. But, by God, we still have to arrest him for kicking you like a mule, miss. I love how the cops, like, try to subtly explain it. Like, yeah, no, I get it. You're YouTubers. Complete fucking freaks of the earth. I've seen YouTubers. It's like this guy called I Am Alex, like he's doing these little T-Rex spasms. I saw that. That was a recent thing, miss. All right, threatened to brick his girlfriend or something, smash her head against the wall. I get it. You're all fucking screwed up people. But I work a regular job. Because I got this badge on my shirt, I've got to haul daddy off to prison. And it's all your fault. I hope that doesn't upset you, but it's your fault. Hands are tied, okay? So what's going to happen is he's going to go to the station. He's going to be processed. He's going to be booked and everything like that. Um, I know it's a cash bail for $50. I don't know if you drive or anything like that. Yeah. Okay. So, like I said, Wait, what did he say there? Bail, he said the cash bill is $50. If you want to go to the station. Uh, the bond yeah, is $50? I went, there. They, I went there. they did not say that. What did they say? They said it could be up to 10000 So. That's arrest number one. Now, what happens? He gets, he gets, he gets arrested. Now, I, I, if I remember vaguely from when this first happened, and again, I just it's just me watching bits and pieces of it. It didn't really catch my attention until we get more arrests into this. Uh, but it was like, was it fifty bucks? Was it ten thousand dollars? Was it a thousand dollars? The point is, he posted bond. He got out. He he was able to bail himself out, or he got out somehow. Released on his own recognizance, recognizance. Maybe the judge was like, dude, that was a like, you should play football, man. That was a field goal worthy kick right into her fucking sternum. And I'm just going to let you walk out of the jail. I, I don't know exactly, but he got out. Now, arrest number two, a bit problematic. A little bit of a difficulty here. There is footage of it, but the only footage I could really find of it was um, on a, somebody else's podcast where they talk over the entirety of it. But basically, a no contact order was put into place. He gets arrested for simple assault, from my understanding. He bails out. The, the judge, the law, basically say, hey, uh, you two can't be near each other while these criminal proceedings are going on. Uh, if you violate this uh, no contact order, whatever it is, restraining order, uh, we're going to bring you back into jail. Maybe it's a bond condition. Who knows? And so arrest number two happens. And again, there was a full video, 40 minutes long of this happening from body cam footage. It got privated. Uh, and, and there is there is footage. But I got a 10 second snippet to give you a feel of it. Just a feel of it. This is arrest number two. Are you two. still living on... Um... So you still living in Warren now, uh, Ben? In Warren? Uh, yeah. Yes or no? 
Yeah. So they find out, and I believe it's because, and this is probably the most brilliant thing. Here's here's really smart thinking. You know, noggin jogging level shit. Um, when you break the law, always make sure to record yourself and live stream it. It's a smart decision to do. Uh, when you assault your daughter and the police arrest you and you bail out, make sure that you do multiple streams where you both can be seen and heard together. So the police have ample evidence when fucking <laughs> A-logs call them to come and arrest you at every location you go to. So here come the cops, and I believe that's arrest number 10. I'm pretty sure they didn't just cite him. I'm pretty sure they hauled his ass back in. Somehow, he, he finagles his way through this one. So he assaults, he assaults his daughter, gets arrested, bails out, seen with her uh, during a no-contact order, somehow finagles his way out again. This, I, whatever county they live in, must love watching women get beat. <laughs> it must be a fucking pastime. They must, they, it's like the Olympics for them. This is a fucking team sport. You got the judge, the prosecutor, just cheering them on with foam hands and shit. Kick that bitch! Kick her good! I'm not exactly sure, but somehow he got out. So, somehow he found his way out. Which leads us into what got my attention. So, I mean, that's kind of the buildup, right? You got the assault, you've got a couple of arrests, but we're going to go for the trifecta, a hat trick in hockey, if you will. For arrest number three. And again, when you're committing a crime, please make sure that you film it and that everybody knows that you're violating a no-contact order. What if the cops are shatters fucking with her? Now, the fun part about this, uh, we've got multiple camera angles too. We'll, we'll look at a second camera angle of this happening. Um, is I believe she lied to the cops. Because they're like in a... <laughs> it's like an SNL skit. You ever see in a van down by the river? That's basically what's going on here. They have literally hid in the woods in the world's shittiest RV. <laughs> but so this is a brilliant plan. Can, can the, one of the Thorpes answer me? Like what, what was the brilliant plan here? You're going to hide in the fucking woods so you can be together and the cops can't fuck with you, but then you're going to live stream the location so they know that you're together and the cops can come fuck with you. Does that def you must be the world's worst hide-and-seek players that have ever existed. You were like the kids nobody wanted on their team because you just stand in the middle of the road screaming. That's not really how you hide. Ben, ben and Grace, why are you in the street screaming? This is hide-and-seek. That's not, that's not how the game is played. Can I call in real quick? They're talking to each other. Look inside of Daisy and said, mm, the ghetto, the ghetto. They're putting the dog back. Hey, Grace. Hey. Oh, no, All right, just so we can get out of here, okay? Okay, miss. Uh, this is like the third time we've been called down here. I'm starting to get actually a little angry myself. Now, I know that your father mule kicked you, but I've got shit to do. We've got like burglars and rapists and killers and shit. I'm going to mule, mule kick you, Grace. Like, yeah, really, I've reached my limit with your shit. All right? It's going to be more than daddy. I've got a taser and a baton. And this is the third fucking time I've had to track you horny little idiots down in the woods. All right? I'm not getting paid enough for this shit, Grace. And we can put this to rest. Can you unlock the van for us? We're going to look in the van. If he's not there, we're leaving for the night. We're not going to be here all night. Both our dogs show no interest in the woods, so we're not going to sit here all day. So I don't want to answer any more questions about our attorney present. No, all I'm saying is, can you just open up your dad's car so we can look inside, make sure he's not there. If he's not there, we're out of here. I'm not going to answer any questions about our attorney present. Okay. Oh, great, Bob. We got a sovereign citizen. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, maybe the mule kick made her retarded. Next, she's going to be talking about land boats, articles of confederation. Just open the fucking door, Grace. Okay, they got a drone. That's the drone. That's the drone. That's the drone. We have you surrounded. We're not going anywhere. We're going to force entry if you don't come out. You're just going to get more charges. Make it easy on yourself. Come out with your hands up. We're going to break your window. We're going to go in. We're going to take you out of there. Come out with your hands up. They said they're going to break the window. But did you think they were going to magic their way through the door, Grace? 
the cop asks you, could you open the door for us? It's locked. You're like, I don't want to answer any questions without an attorney. <laughs> then she's got that surprised squirrel look on her face like, they're going to break the window? Yeah, they're going to break the window. They're going to have SWAT come down there with a bulldozer and fucking crunch this thing in half. It's going to be like a little Ben Sardine popping out, Grace. Maybe just open the fucking door. <laughs> There's all of them right there. Don't we need to get a warrant for this? Did, do they need a, a warrant? The dude, Grace, seriously. He's been arrested, to, what is it, a fucking assault and then violating the, the, the no restraint order and now potentially doing it. I don't think they need a warrant, I think, at this point. I mean, remember, you're live streaming this in the forest. <laughs> and look, this fucking setting's like a horror movie. I feel like I'm on the set of a horror movie, like fucking uh, Jason Voorhees is going to come around a tree and just machete people. Like, what? This is the darkest fucking place they could park? <laughs> so are they filming uh, filming the new fucking Saw movie out here? I don't, like, what the fuck? Let's go camp in the spookiest place possible for our incest fiasco. What the fuck? There's the drone. I, I hear something. I don't know if it's a radio. I love, like, I like to imagine that Ben is in there because he's like a tall dude. He's like six, seven. He's like an ogre. The guy's fucking retardedly tall. It's a big dude. I like to imagine he's trying to hide behind, like, one of the back seats as they have their floodlights right on him. Like, we can see you, you know. I'm looking right at you, and he's like, I'm invisible. If I, it's like a little kid logic. If I can't see you, you can't see me. I'm invisible. <laughs> I'm totally hidden in here, six foot seven, crouching behind the world's smallest chair with your floodlight on me. You can't find me. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, he's definitely in there. He's in there. He's right there. The mirror's on the scene. Come out now! I can't open it. Benjamin, get out! Come on, Benjamin. No. There he's he is. There. Oh, no. Get out of here. Uh, yeah, hey, Shrek, uh, we can see your fucking giant ass in there. 10-4, uh, buddy. Uh, I see you, Shrek. You're not hiding in this swamp very well. There's no donkey coming to sing a musical number. We're putting you in chains, okay, old boy? Now, how about you hobble your green ass the fuck on out of here before I get my mace? Back up. Back up all the way you, have to, you have to open the bathroom door in order for him to get out. You have to open the bathroom door. Turn him out. You made this so much harder on yourself, my man. Thanks for lying, but we got him. <laughs> the cop. Hey, thanks a lot, you dumb bitch. Yeah, we saw the uh, fucking giant man living in your van. Wasn't hard to spot him. His head is literally poking the metal out. The aluminum's bent around it. He is 19 feet tall. What were you trying to hide? You called it. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I could, I could hear muffled. Yeah. I knew right when the dogs had no interest in going down there. We caught the ogre. Ten four. Tell SWAT to return to base. Ogre is in custody. Ooh, that's a tight fit. The pants are going down. No, I'll, I'll, when you walk out, I'll pick them up. Don't worry about it. I'll pull them up. Now that's interesting. So he gets arrested in a van in the woods with his daughter. And the first thing he says to the cops after they get in there is, my pants are falling down. My pants, I can't keep my pants on. 
Why would there be a pantsless ogre in a van with a young girl in the woods? I don't know. Let's keep watching. Come on, you have a cell phone or anything like that? Your daughter can get for you? You can bring that. You can bring that phone for you. I don't care outside. I don't know what. You're going to be about to work tomorrow. Yeah. I told you, look at look at the size of this guy. Why were you trying, Ben? Why were you trying to hide in the van? Your head literally scrapes the aluminum. <laughs> look at the size of you, motherfucker. Where were you hiding? There's nowhere to hide. You're enormous. <laughs> Did you think they weren't gonna spot you? Uh, auto violation. Because she has an auto against you. Yeah, it's in the system. Yeah. We confirmed it with Rhode Island. Yeah. I need a note from Tom. Uh, it says, uh, yeah, it's still a no contact. It's still the same thing, in Massachusetts. So. I'm sorry, Dad. Yeah. God, it would have been Kino if, when she said, I'm sorry, Dad, if he just fucking broke free of the police and mule kicked her right in the chest. It's your fault, you fucking slut. <laughs> you did it again, Gracie. Just full on cops episode, meth strength, ogre rage. Break, look at those cops that are like three feet tall, just tosses them aside like little Lego bricks, and just punts her ass across the forest in a furious rage. <laughs> it's your fault, Gracie. No, no, no. I love you, Dad. I'm sorry they're doing this. I have shoes. I wear shoes, Dad. It's funny. It's a big deal. I know you can't say anything, but I really love you. I'm really sorry this is happening. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry this is happening. God, sorry every time you get arrested, I've got a camera in your face. Sorry, live stream every time we try to secretly do this and fuck it up repeatedly. Sorry about that. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You kicked me. Um, I'll be. Put on my cards. Right? 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 The biggest one. Yeah, okay. How did I violate the no contact? Are you having contact with yeah. right now? How, how did you violate the no contact order? Well, sir, uh, the woman that you fucking mule kicked happens to be literally standing right next to you screaming, I love you, daddy. Um, that might be how you violated the no contact order, sir. Back with her right now? No. Right here, right? She's right with here. you. That's a pretty solid contact, And we have right? numerous witnesses have saying I contact you were... Her? Uh, we're not going to talk about it. Let's go. It's fine, you can unlawfully arrest me. Okay. This, way. this is total bullshit. It's unlawful. Hi, can you prove that I've had contact with her? Sir, she's standing literally right next to you. I don't know who that woman is. I've never seen her before. Sir, your boot print is tattooed on her chest. I don't know what you... We have forensic running it right now. Sir, I'm pretty sure it's going to match your footprint. I, I've never seen this girl in my life. Officer, I thought this was America. I thought this was the land of the free. Let me out of these cuffs. I'm going to kick that bitch. Which bitch would that be, sir? You're right. I don't know who that bitch is. She's just fucking strange. I'm just camping in the woods. Went out to fish a little bit, and this uh, strange woman approached me. Started calling me daddy. I don't know who the fuck she is. I don't know who the fuck this is. <laughs> okay. So this got my attention, right? This is arrest number three. I was going to show you the second angle. I think you get it. You get it. You get it. So, uh, you know, commits assault, gets arrested once. Goes to jail, bonds out, gets arrested twice, or apprehended by the cops twice. Snakes out of it. Uh, third time, gets arrested. And I think he's out again, right? We've seen him in chat. Wasn't he in chat saying they're doing a stream right now? Which I'm sure is going to lead to great consequences. <laughs> More fantastic outcomes. So, what's the backstory here, right? Because now I'm sure you're interested. Okay, this is a little weird. Uh, dad mill kicks his daughter gets arrested three times because of it. they're hiding in the woods in a van together where mom you know where's mom where's where's other family siblings and relatives what the fuck is going on here so i tried to put together a little just a little snippet again i'd recommend go look it up yourself there's like hours of this shit people have done documentaries and interviews and you can go look it all up but i took i took a few things some testimonies some stories a little bit of the family dynamic and just put it together, because we're talking about contestant number one for Father of the Year on Father's Day. So let's go into what I like to lovingly call the, um, what did I title this? Oh, the blowjob story. <laughs> oh, hello, darkness, my old friend. How old was Grace when you had her perform fellatio on a 
bottle of beer that was between your legs for her mother. Now, wait, did that happen? Okay. Okay. I will answer that question. I will answer that question. Ben, did you that You cannot happen? perform fellatio on a bottle of beer, retard. Okay, all right. What she seems s- like a coat. Now, wait, wait, wait. was sucking wait, a dick. Wait, wait, you wait, can wait, simulate on. fellatio right. on a what bottle of doing? beer. What's she doing? Now, wait, Ben. I'm sure ben, you do on a nightly basis. Hold on, Ben. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Grossly, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Ben, did, did that happen? Did she s- simulate fellatio on a bottle of yes. beer? Yes. So there it was. Just uh, watching a football game, and I had a, a Budweiser in between my lap, and I said, uh, hey, daughter. She didn't pay attention, so I mule kicked the bitch, and then she paid attention. I said, hey, daughter, unless you want another mule kick, daddy wants you to suck on his Budweiser. Uh, mommy's watching. Come suck on daddy's Budweiser. Come suck. Yeah, maybe maybe you're confused. Did that happen? Was the question? Was she sucking a beer bottle in your crotch? What was she doing? Now wait, Ben. I'm sure you do on a night. Hold on, Ben. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. (laughs) Grossly, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Ben, did did that happen? Did she simulate fellatio on a bottle? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now. Oh, uh, that happened. In the prior location, right. yes. Yikes. Okay, now, now, Greg. <laughs> I didn't tell her to, uh, we have to be careful of language. I did not have her perform or simulate did fellatio you have on her a bottle stop? of beer. Did you say, hey, stop this, or was it, like, was it just a funny joke? I am the victim here. I did not have her perform this. She forced it upon me. I can't get away from this girl, okay? Every time I have a beer bottle in my lap, it's like she's like she thinks I'm a shark. She acts like a lamprey. She's like a leech thing. I don't. She's sucking blood. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Joke or what? Like I mean, she no no. She did. I can explain that. She did this now. Okay, this didn't come out. I voluntarily said this story to help give people some context. Yeah. Grace enthusiastically did this <laughs> because she was so tired of her mother insinuating that this was going on. So she was just like, okay, so let's just let's just play out your fantasy, which we had heard a number of times in which she admitted that she masturbated fantasizing about my daughter and me having coital sex, like full on penetrative sex. So uh, let's bring you up to speed on the Thorps here. Um, You know, I think this is a situation we've all been in chat, really. I mean, honestly, every Thanksgiving, it's just something that happens. There you are eating dinner with your parents When your mom starts furiously masturbating at the thought of you having sex with your father. And your dad's like, Jesus, let's give the bitch something to look at. And he pulls out a beer can, a beer bottle, sticks it in between his legs, and he just kind of dangles it at you. He's like, dinner time. And you just, you run over there. You're eager. Because you love your mother. And you understand that's how Thanksgivings are celebrated. All right? This is, this is normal behavior. (laughs) Now, That was a very short snippet talking about sucking off beer bottles, but were other things getting sucked off? Well, let's, let's listen to what the brother has to say. Okay. Now that she's gone, um, I wanted to tell you guys that, um, as her brother, I know that everybody's always questioning whether the allegations are true, even though it's pretty clear to most people, um, who aren't idiots what the reality of the situation is, but, um, my father, uh, has sexually groomed my sister and they have sex all the time. She gives him blowjobs all the time. Um, and they're currently together, even though there's a no contact order in place. So this is the brother, my understanding, this is a brother, uh, confirming that more than beer bottles are getting sucked on. Uh, that all the flirtatious, tee-hee, just trolling, just joking isn't really just trolling, just joking. That uh, daddy and daughter are fucking like rabbits and uh, uh, sucking and fucking nonstop. Nonstop sucking and fucking going on, according to the brother here. Let's let's listen further. So if anybody knows where they are or any information like that, please let somebody or just call the police because they're not supposed to be together. Um, for reasons, could you imagine if he's the one making that nine one one call? How uncomfortable would that be? Hello, nine one one. Oh my God, I need your help. My sister won't stop sucking my father's cock. Can you send SWAT immediately? Can you please? Oh, they're in the woods right now, and she is taking load after load, and I can't stop her. Oh my God, I tried hitting her with a bat, and she won't take her mouth off his dick. I need emergency services. That makes sense. Like. 
One of them is that um, he kicked her on stream and he's molested her many different ways. He's physically abusive person. He's terrible. Um, I find him just a repulsive man. I'm ashamed that he's my father. Um, and it's a burden to be his son. Um, living life after Ben Thorpe is is difficult. Living life as a just, you know, ha- having him as your father is a really difficult struggle. So <laughs> oh, that's so fucking brutal. Jesus. I feel bad for this kid. I don't know. Again, I don't know much about uh, who he is or really the depth of the family dynamics. And I know I'm joking a lot about this and it's going to get darker as we go through. <laughs> but um, holy shit. Imagine how fucked up that is. Like you're sitting in your car recording this and you're you're aware of everything that's going on, even though you might not have contact with the rest of your family because they live stream all of it. There's no way to escape it. Like fucking random strangers know who you are because of this shit. And they're like, dude, you're, are you, is your dad, your, your sister, are they fucking each other? Cause like I saw him get arrested three times. Like the pussy must be crazy. This guy's out in the wood in a camper van and he just won't fucking stop. And like, you gotta, and you're like, yeah. What's life like for that poor guy? Welcome to father's day. Happy father's day. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at the despair on his face. Um, I hope that Grace can get out of it, but I've already gotten out of it, but it's still, still just an endless struggle trying to, you know, recuperate myself. Um, yeah, pretty much that's the, that's. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, my sister and dad are fucking, and, uh, I want to slit my throat. <laughs> it's pretty dark, bros. It's pretty fucking dark over here. I don't know what to tell you guys. Holy shit. Now, I want to show you a little family dynamic, and I I think we should kind of analyze this as we go through it, because I think you'll pick up on what I picked up on when I started looking at these clips. Um, Clearly from that first one, you know, after she gets mule kicked and she's like scratching her face and apologizing, you can figure there's some damage. There's some fucked up shit going on here. And then you hear the blowjob story where he's like, oh, she's sucking a beer bottle. And the brother's talking about they suck and fuck all the time. But then you look at the family dynamics. Now, where is the brother? What happened to the brother? Well, the brother got basically thrown into the wind. They tried to get him arrested. He's all crippled and shit. He had a broken leg. He's all busted up. I don't know why. Maybe he tried to <laughs> try to stop the blowjobs in process. I don't know. But um, we're going to look over the footage, and you can kind of see, why would Daddy be playing favorites? Why would Daddy choose daughter over her son? Uh, well, I think you can figure that out already. And then we're going to see Mom, too. And it's just, it's just wild how fucked up this is. But it's a, it's a little collage, the, the Thorpe family dynamic. Brother, yes, I will. Now, this is a brother and sister arguing. This is him in his apartment, uh, off broken up from some injury or some shit. She comes up, and again, live streaming everything. Start shit with him. Okay, Gracie, you're really uh, bad. What are you doing? You're really I'll bad. enjoy it. Get out of my apartment. Get out of my fucking apartment, bitch. Oh, Get no. out of my apartment. Now I have physical Get out. assault. You're not allowed in here. I have physical assault on video. Whatever you want to. I have physical assault on video. I have physical assault on oh video. Oh, my God. Okay, cool. Now I have physical assault on video. Do you think this is winning? This is not your you're apartment. Winning? I'm allowed up here. Get I'm on the out lease. Out of here, Grace. Get I am out. on the lease. You're not allowed to be up here I am right on now. the lease. You physically assaulted okay, me, and I'm on the lease. Get out of here. Oh, now you choked me. You just choked me. Did he just choke me? Double you. You're winning. You're winning. Do you notice? Okay, the first thing, chat. Do you notice the difference? Now, here he is, the brother, hobbling along, a fucking busted up leg, all injured from whatever the fuck's going on. And he's pushing her out. Get the, get the fuck out of here. And she wants to call the police. She's, uh, you know, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. Daddy mule kicks her. She breaks down into tears, and it's her fault. Brother pushes her to get her, you know, the fuck out of the apartment. She wants him arrested. I don't know. There's some weird fucking dynamics going on in these male relationships in this family. I'm thinking maybe she's closer to daddy than she is brother. Get out. He, you're he winning. W. Me. Look at him. Look at who cool guy. W. You're you winning. choked me. I'm Get on the out. lease. You're so, Get so out. you are physically assaulting me when I'm on the lease to be up here you're in this winning. apartment. You're winning. Is that what you just you did? Won. You're winning. I'm going to turn this into the police Okay. And that's what we're going to do. You okay. physically assault physically me one assault. more time, and I will call the physically police. Physically assault. Yes. Fuck you. Get out. Fuck off, bitch. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, <laughs> and you go make food and then not clean it up again. You are going to be uh, you're going to be evicted for that. And I'm going to press charges against you. You are? Yes. You are? What are you gonna do? Fucking asshole! Fuck you! You deserve that so much! Fucking slob! No, that's Hope on video too. Fucking hell, Grace. He threw a shoe at my kittens. <laughs> So, okay, so that first part, right, that's like the initial contact. I think this is at the family home, and he's like in, above the garage, or I, I, don't, I don't know. The, again, you'd have to watch the very long-form videos of this. I'm giving you the rough and dirty cut as we go through this. But you could tell, brother's the odd man out, obviously. <laughs> he's not the one sucking beer bottles in between daddy's lap. And so Grace goes and fucks with him, and uh, she's going to get him evicted. And uh, here he is with his dad. Ben, uh, who's 19 feet tall, kicking his cat or something, I don't know, but talking about his fears and trying to get the fuck out of there, and you'll see how this escalates into just insanity. Yeah, I was unaware the kittens were there. I told the police officers, I said, the, honestly, the number one thing I don't, I, I'm like freaking out about right now is what's going on with the cats, because he said he would kill, he said he would strangle them. Yeah. I, I do think he would drown them. Walked out of the room, um, like hobbled out of it and then i and then i went down the stairs I, I didn't even put shoes on i grabbed my car keys um i went to my car <laughs> i went to my car i had noise canceling headphones on that i put on um my sister standing behind my i see some people in chat saying did he did he really threaten to kill the cat was he really going to kill the cat um i have it on good authority after investigating this that actually he called in a cat hit man by the name of mersh who was going to catnap them and then uh, run a bunch of GoFundMes for them. <laughs> That's what happened to all the Thorpe cats. Ben gave them to Marsh, and then Marsh ran GoFundMes on them. My car not letting me back out. My dad screaming at me from the right, the right window, and my mom screaming at me from the left. <laughs> um, uh, and then they left, and I thought that it was the coast was clear for a little while, at least, so... <laughs> So here we here he's like narrating over this, right? So here's the fucked up part. And again, I tried to find this part. I, I couldn't get it really, but it is out there. Um, so he has this confrontation with his sister. Dad comes in, talks shit to him. Whole family's talking shit to him. We're going to get you arrested. We're going to get you evicted. So he's trying to like get out. This is him attempting to flee and take his kitties with him. And they won't let him. Watch the shit they do. Like, it's crazy. I uh, took out the engine oil. Because my car has a, a, an oil leak still, and it just, I haven't been driving in or keeping up with the oil, so it's just leaked all out. So I had, I had to fill it up before I drive. I drove. Um, uh, <coughs> and then he also grabbed the, uh, the, the engine, he tried to grab the, the engine cap, the engine oil cap. Um, and I actually ended up screwing it on and getting, retrieving the engine oil that he stole. Um, then I slammed it and tried to get back in my car, but he was standing in front of my door, blocking it. <laughs> um, I was incredibly uh, frightened that they were going to have the cops called on me because I touched him, which I, 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 up to this point I didn't, and I didn't touch him, and I was incredibly fearful of that happening because it just happened to me the day before. Um, and they were taking videos the whole time and laughing. Like, imagine how fucked up this dynamic is and it, it just watching this from the outside how screwed up this, this this is so you got your son is crippled for what i don't know why maybe it was an accident who fucking knows he's hobbling around on crutches concerned about his cats and he knows that his sister and father are fucking his sister's screwing with him trying to get him arrested and evicted and his dad's getting physical with him and so all he's trying to do is like escape and they won't even let him get in his car so they're going to try to make him walk in the rain Hobble in the rain on his crutches, down the street in his socks. Your crippled son. Your crippled son you're going to force to walk down the street. Like, what the fuck, dude? Um, and then I walked away and tried to walk to the police station, but I realized that that wasn't going to really happen because I was wearing socks, and it was like, it's like rainy here. So, like, there's puddles everywhere, and it was fucking crazy. Um, then I went back to my car, <coughs> um, and at that point, I think he moved, so I was able to get in the driver's seat, but... He's got that, he's got that powered up Timmy Trot. Timmy! 
<laughs> you see him just hobbling his way over there. If I can get in the car, I can get the fuck out of here. Oh. He blocked the door from shutting. <laughs> um, so what happened from there was uh, then. And, and so this is a part that got cut out. Um, it's very, it's like barely visible on the initial footage. I'm sure somebody has it. I wish they just put the unredacted fucking clip up. Uh, but Ben kicks the door on his broken leg. Like this kid's fucked up leg is halfway out the door and he, like, he starts kicking it. He starts kicking his crippled son. And then it picks up here where Grace decides to get it in the act. You know, the daughter gets in the act by like, <laughs> well, just watch. And, uh, and then she got off after like 20 seconds of sitting on the hood of my car um, to stand in front of it and uh, threaten me to like knock her over. <laughs> um, and then I sped off and I was like questioning whether to go to the police station first. But then I was like, I don't I like I. I'm fucked. I am fucked. Yeah, like I'm. I'm fucked in every way. I there's no other. Like I, I, I don't want to waste policemen's time. But like, so um, that's a brother story, okay? Uh, crippled, thrown out of the house, assaulted, intimidated, uh, fleeing for his safety. Who fucking knows? Uh, what I do know is, and there's more footage out there, and you can find it in these long form videos if they interest you. Um, but what I do know is it was like a race to the police station to see who could get footage to the cops first. Uh, but they tried to like nail him and then footage showed up because again, remember how Grace is always like, this is the funny part to me. The daughter is always like, I'm so sorry, daddy. But every time shit goes down, like she's the one that's put the evidence out there. It's very strange. It's like some subconscious thing. Like if he's, if he really has been molesting her and he's been taking advantage of his daughter, like she's got some part of her primal brain that hates that. And so subconsciously, she fucks him over as much as she can. So she films him when he breaks the no contact order. She films him when he assaults her. And she filmed when he assaulted her brother. And she's the one that releases it. She was the one that was showing the footage. And then she had to delete it because she fucked up and gave him evidence that he could bring to the police. Now, here's mom. Oh, you know, uh, three sheets to the wind streaming from downstairs and let's let's look at the dynamic between mom and daughter it's rolling my ex hollywood ben thorpe 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 it's just like it's just it's coming ow fucking bitch get up my screen okay that was enough of that am i right Daddy's mine now, bitch. Say goodbye. Daddy's all mine. Get out, mommy. <laughs> I've driven brother out, and I'm driving mommy out, and now daddy belongs to me. Sorry, daddy. Got you arrested for the 15th fucking time. Oopsie doodles. <laughs> wow. Welcome to the Thorpe family, ladies and gentlemen. That's not even... There's so many clips. There's so many clips of crazy shit they've said and done. And it just goes on and on. But I, I, you know, I picked one last clip I wanted to finish out the Thorp segment with for contestant number one. <laughs> for contestant number one. Oh, really? It's the only contestant. Come on, let's be honest here. Uh, it's just another, you know, let's, let's, I'm going to let it play. I'm not even going to comment. I'm going to let chat give me your opinion on this. Let's see what you think. And his mother sort of agreed with him. It's crazy. Totally crazy. Nothing to do with YouTube. Oh, yeah. Well, he found some... Whatever, you know, this is when his mother was, I mean, this isn't really like YouTube, right? So he went through, he was convinced of this somehow. I think his mother was telling him. So he went through his sister's phone and she sent me something, you know, a teenage girl will send something. Maybe it was a, maybe it was a, an emoji of a. I think uh, a plant phrase, it was, really hey, can you come up here and bring that big dick with you? And yeah, right. Plant emoji, emojis? Yeah. yeah. I have no memory i don't know saying i think i'm the most sexually normal guy in the world i don't i i i i was told now let's see oh you know what chat let's take a poll i'm not even gonna put a poll poll up because i'll get banned off youtube for putting this into words um let's take a poll chat he thinks he's the most sexually normal person in the world what is his follow-up statement gonna be chat what do you think that statement's gonna be followed with when somebody after what you've seen what do you think the most sexually normal person in the world is going to say is sexually normal? What do you think is going to the, fo the follow-up of this going to be? Just 
I'm going to give you a minute to really ponder it, to really just consult your crystal balls. Really give it a thinkaroo. <laughs> oh, I see some people. You're Oh, you're hitting on it so hard you don't even know. Here we go. Here we go. You've had a moment to think on it. Let's check it out. I have a, someone who goes to my chat who's a 16-year-old girl, and I was told, like, it's really, really a problem. I was like, what would be the problem? I chat with her. I would meet her in person. I would tell a six-year-old girl that her dress looked pretty. Ben, Ben, Ben. I, I'm a pedophile in the Greek sense, Mike. Let oh, okay. Let's just back that up for a second. Just in case it slipped by. In the Greek sense. <laughs> Have you even read Locke? Listen, intellectually speaking, intellectually speaking, I don't care if they're, I don't care what age they are. <laughs> he just jumps from, he just dropped a digit. Okay, that was pretty quick. Like in the span of four seconds, we dropped an entire digit. All right, a placement. We've moved, we've moved from 16 to 6. Girl, that her dress looked pretty. Ben, Ben, Ben. I, I'm a pedophile in the Greek sense, Mike. Lover of children. I love children, especially oh, girls. Ben. I, was saying, I love children, especially little girls. I think I you should that. be less ambiguous about that. And I like to, I guess you could call it flirting, flirt with little girls and say like nope. how pretty they look. Nope. Nope. I don't like nope. that. Nope. I don't disgusting. like that. I don't <laughs> like that. Oh, I think that's your problem, guys. A normal man loves to flirt with a little girl and say, oh, you know, a normal man normal man hey guys it's totally normal can we go back to that original arrest footage or the assault i'm sorry and just get just now that you've you've listened to this let's take a look at her reaction and just see if that's any deep-seated fucking trauma uh popping its head up that's literally not why <laughs> Father of the year, folks. Father of the year. Happy Father's Day. So, Ben Thorpe, arrested three times, breaks no contact order, has his own son come out and say that he's been fucking his daughter and having her suck his dick, admitted on stream to having her perform, uh, you know, uh, mock fellatio on beer bottles in his lap. We see that they drove the son out of the house, the mom uh, driven out of the house, the daughter's getting in cat fights with her. They're off in an RV in the fucking woods somewhere doing God knows what. Constantly, constantly flirting, constantly all this. Putting out statements about how, you know, fuck it. You know, not just 16-year-old uh, little girls, but six-year-olds. You know, the Greek sense of the word. That's a new one on me. I've, not, I've really ever heard anybody pull that out as like an, an argument. <laughs> no, you don't understand. Uh, it's in the Greek sense of it. Oh, okay. Oh, but so what, you speak a different language when you molest them? What does that mean? In the Greek sense of it. You offer the child a gyro when you when you commit sodomy. What what do you mean in the Greek sense of it? What can so I don't? I guess it's not computing for me. I'm having some difficulty understanding exactly what in the Greek sense of it means. I guess I'm not highly educated enough uh, to pull this one off to figure it out. So you know we we looked at the Ralph and Dad, right? You know, and Ralph's got his own issues, but boy oh boy. <laughs> ben, Ben, Ben takes the cake. And like, you need to understand that what I've shown you is fractional. It, it's minute. It's itty bitty, tiny, teeny weeny compared to the, uh, the trove, just the depth and breadth of shit that's out there of interviews and uh, live streams and shit that's been said just blatantly and openly. Now I'm, you know, I, I've heard uh, some people say that, um, you know, he had a normal life and uh, was successful and had a decent job and decided he wanted to become like a YouTuber and everything went to shit. Like, I don't know what the story is. And I know one of those three hour documentaries would probably explain it. So if you want to see the dark side <laughs> of father daughter relationships that is just out in the open on YouTube, everybody fucking seems to know about it. It's really weird. It's just out there, just out there. Now the cops are involved. Who knows where this goes? Uh, there you go. It's the Thorpe family.